Your Father, who sees everything, will reward you. I like how it says that in the New Living Translation, in Matthew chapter 6, where Jesus is talking about what we should do as far as giving and praying and fasting. Jesus said, do it in secret, because then your Father who sees everything will reward you. Uh, let's see what it says in the New King James Version. That your charitable deed may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. Hallelujah. Jesus repeats that three times in the Sermon on the Mount. Once in relation to giving, once in relation to praying, and once in relation to fasting. These are activities that God likes. Giving, praying, and fasting. And the Bible says that if we do it secretly, God sees it. He sees everything. And He will reward us openly. That means that it will be something others can see as well. Praise God. <laughs> Think about the rewards that you can get for the things that you are doing. Some people say, well, I don't care about the rewards. Like, I just love Jesus. I'm too spiritual to think about rewards. This is not the way God wants us to think. Jesus constantly mentioned rewards. Perhaps not constantly, but frequently. And even King David, before he became king, was thinking about the rewards of fighting Goliath. Uh, it says in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 26, Then David spoke to the men who stood by him, saying, what shall be done for the man who kills this Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him in this manner, saying, So shall it be done for the man who kills him. So David had asked this question more than once. There was going to be a lot of um, rewards. For example, it says um, in, in an earlier verse, it shall be that the man who kills him, the king will enrich with great riches. The king will give him his daughter and the king and give him his father's house exemption from taxes in Israel. Okay, He'll give his father's house exemption from taxes in Israel. Not a bad incentive. So riches, tax free and uh, the king's daughter. Not bad. So David wanted to make sure that this reward was really there and he verified it by asking a few times. So David was definitely interested in the reward uh, before he took on Goliath the Philistine. And like that, God is interested in us wanting rewards. He doesn't like our indifference to his rewards because that is kind of like a disrespect to God. That's an unbelief. That's not good. I mean, honestly, would you go to work for a company that didn't promise you any pay at the end of the week? Uh, it doesn't matter to you, you just love your work so much. No, we are motivated by rewards. And anybody who says they aren't uh, is missing out on something. Your father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. Praise God, there's an opportunity. Like how much should we give? Well, it's kind of up to us in a way. But the more you give, the more it will be given to you. So we've got freedom in this area. He who sows sparingly will reap sparingly. He who sows bountifully will reap bountifully. It's up to you. It's not like there's a law. You must give so much. The more you believe and the more you give, the more your Father in Heaven will reward you openly. And then the more you pray, the more you'll be rewarded openly, provided, of course, that you're doing it not to impress people, but to be with God and to love God and out of love for others as well. And then fasting, you know, we don't want people to look at us and say, oh, what a spiritual person, he fasted so much. But sometimes we do and then we can have a cheap reward like, oh, people think you're spiritual, whatever. But wouldn't it be much better to get the reward from God our Father for fasting? It says, so that don't appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. There are great rewards for fasting. And uh, I thank God that He is faithful. And I thank God that I've seen it in the lives of people, the people who really impact 
the world we live in are people of fasting. And uh, praise the Lord for the opportunity to still the distractions, to get rid of the distractions and to get to the core issues that God has. And we can hear and be instructed much better through fasting. So when we humble ourselves through fasting, well, God will give us grace. God will give us blessing and will also be rewarded openly. Same with prayer. Prayer itself is pleasure. I mean, boy, just praying is, feels so good. You've got to get into it. If you're not baptized in the Holy Spirit, you can't speak in tongues yet, or you don't speak in tongues, you need to get into that because it's one of the ways you're going to enjoy prayer a lot more. So there's all these rewards out there, and uh, we need to be thinking about this more. Uh, knowing this, that whatever good a man does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether slave or free, it says in the book of Galatians somewhere. So think about that. You've got the opportunity to get greater rewards. And that's something worth pursuing. Amen.